Um, so, like, I played The Last of Us, and then again when the remastered came out. I still uh, haven't played that. Oh, man. So, I've been watching uh, Troy Baker and Nolan North play through it. Yeah. Uh, nice. They post every week. It's great. Retro replay. Fucking give them love. Yeah. Because they deserve it so I much. I need to check them out again. It's they're so, I love them so much. It's one of those things where, like, when I get into a new channel, I have to be in the right mood for it. Oh, yeah. And when I checked them out, like, I just, I wasn't into it right away. Oh. There's always that first, that first series, that first episode that makes me fall in love with the channel. Hmm. Like, with the super best friends, it was uh, when they played Twilight Princess. Oh, yeah. Because I'm a big Zelda nerd. Hmm. Um... And with the Game Grumps, it was like, I actually made a necklace for my friend's birthday until like 8 o'clock in the morning. Like, I spent all night listening to the Game Grumps uh, play Super Mario Sunshine. Okay. Yeah, and just listen to them fucking <laughs> fail their way through that game, because uh, it's hard as balls. And I uh, made a necklace for my friend Liz for her 28th birthday, I think. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> um, right, so... Uh... Right, Last of Us and the Dogs. Um, later on in the story, no spoilers, um, there is a dog. And, there's of a course... Uh, I'll tell us about the puppers in a sec. Yeah. There's, there's actually important plot. Gonna Actual happen. plot. <laughs> nice. Oh, shit. All right. Fucking... Is that the... I am almost ready to return to the Imperial City. Is that Another Jigsaw? Day, I will bring you the <laughs> Hold up. Asian Jigsaw. Asian Jigsaw. His name is Jigsaw. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not the worst they've seen or heard on no. YouTube. <laughs> That's Kang. Oh my god. I love him. Massive quaff. Yep. <laughs> you heard Mistress Chiang. I can't waste any more time here. Get that flyer finished now. No, because that's how things she get done properly. Well, yeah. I don't take orders from your wife. <laughs> Remember, if not for my son, you would never have discovered where the glorious strategist was hiding. I am well aware of your son's role in all this, gal. In fact, I suspect. Yeah, I fucking so, killed him. So that's Gao. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's Gao the Greater. That's fucking uh, uh just, shit. I forget his goddamn name. What? Nathan Fillion. Really? Right? It wasn't a Gao. Yeah, Gao the Lesser. Oh, this is Gao the Greater. Uh, right. Yeah. Okay, so little Gao. We, yeah, we okay, fucking so, killed him. Gao the Incel. Don't you remember? Oh fuck! Okay. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, we kicked his ass in that in that cave. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and uh, watch that episode just to hear Do it. him. Nathan Fillion again. Nathan Fillion. I like that last name. I must grieve for my son. <laughs> Excuse me while I jiggle away. <laughs> just uh, quick. Oh, waddle. excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> We shall see. We shall see. You may have your workshop back, Mad One. I suspect Gal will be preoccupied for some time. So I'm in charge now. I suggest you finish your dragonfly today. Yeah, because when you violently order people to get done a complicated thing, that's how it gets done well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I fucking love this character. <laughs> this character's so good. <laughs> Let's go talk to him, shall we? 
Uh, oh, do I have to kill some people first? Right. More plot. More pr more plot. Plotery. <laughs> Plotery. I love how his goggles are all fucked up. Like they're not right. They're like magnifying goggles. Damn, boy. Yeah. That's a fucking war crime. Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, no, that is a war crime, isn't it? Lighting people on fire? I think Hold so. Hold on, what do you do to that bitch? I'm fucking lit her on fire. Yeah, but what? That bitch got lit. But <laughs> Son of a bitch. Um, Son of a bitch. Seriously, was she attacking you? She and... was about to. Okay. And then he fucking fucked her up. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Like, it's because Still. he's, like, being forced to fucking build shit for these people. Right, right. <laughs> Who are you? Not so much. <laughs> That's his entire character. <laughs> <laughs> I, I fucking love it. I fucking love this game. <laughs> you make things explode. <laughs> Your greatest prize. The marvelous dragonfly. Hmm. Fuck yeah. Who are those people I saw in here earlier? <laughs> he runs this place. It's a representative. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out whether or not he's actually wearing a hat or if that's just an extension of his hair. Um, it kind of looks like it. it yeah, it kind of just blends, kind of branches out and blends into... He's like a mushroom head. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I want to quote one of their songs now, but I can't think of any. Mushroom Head? Yeah. I you don't... ever listen to Mushroom Head? I don't know Mushroom Head, no. Oh. They're, they're like Discount Industrial Slipknot. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're, they're a good band. Pitch. They are. They actually are. <laughs> Discount I like them. Industrial Slipknot. Yeah, especially now that Slipknot sucks ass. Well, dude, their their newest album sucks. It's Evan not good. Oh, okay, it's yeah. not a good album. I don't like it. Like you, you fucking you, you straight up listen to it like side by side. Like here's their first album, and it sounds right. awesome and heavy and crazy. You listen to the newest album, and it's like, what the fuck is this weak ass shit? Oh, and I'm not talking about a composition. I'm talking about like like musically. It's uh, not as heavy. It's just not. Yes, it's... like it's like they turn down their guitars. Like the mix is all fucked up, and the loudest thing in the mix is the drums. Like what are you doing? Interesting. Yeah, from mm. from a mixing standpoint, I super hate it. Guess it's been a while since duality. I, in my mind, that's that was their like, that was their high point. Their third album, masterpiece. Fucking yeah, love it. Absolutely. You're being awfully helpful to a stranger. There's some philosophy for you kids. <laughs> is that uh, if you just if you just make copies, it's not going to be as special. You're special. <laughs> you're special because you're you. <sighs> Don't listen to Kesha. Oh God. <laughs> um, so, uh, good thing about this whole plot stuff. Paul Eiding is the voice for this. Paul Eiding does. Does this voice ring a bell at all? It does sound familiar, but I can't place it. He did a lot of voices in vo uh, Last Airbender. Oh, I never watched it. <gasps> I, it, it it's on the list. I am going to get there one day. <laughs> just, just... I mean, he's done other shit. Like, he was in Cow and Chicken, too, back in the day. Oh, I didn't watch that. What? No. Uh, 
there was a period of my life where we didn't have TV mm. because money. Right. So I watched straight up like the Knowledge Network Ooh. and Treehouse TV because my huh. little brother and sister. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. And played The Legend of Zelda over and over and over. <laughs> like Ocarina of Time, I've played that game on a fucking insane amount of times. <laughs> <laughs> Will you help me against Gao and the Lotus Assassins? <laughs> How about I just kill him? I mean, yeah. I agree. I will see what I can do. <laughs> yeah, well, that's pretty good. Yep. I'll take that record. Explode. Well, good. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. Go and leave me to think. <laughs> Sweet. Let's see if there's anything in this room I need. No. Okay, you were saying things. Uh. Ooh, ooh, it's good stuff. New things. New things. But, uh, cause Nathan Fillion was on my mind again and more. Uh, you played the Uncharted series, right? Nope. No? Never played any of them. Okay. I would, though. But you're familiar with Oh, it. yeah. I super know about You know it. Nathan Drake? Yep. You got a, a the image of his face? Yep. You've probably maybe seen some gameplay and oh, yeah. heard the I've, voice. I've, I've watched uh, a bunch of episodes of The Completionist of him, like, oh, okay. completing those games. So, uh, Nathan Fillion. Or someone did a short. Like a 15 minute... Were they wearing shorts? Ha 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 ha. Continue. I, this is... I'm, pu I'm punching with my eyes. <laughs> um, t t there was a 15 minute short someone did starring Nathan Fillion as Nathan Drake. And awesome. I watched it again recently and it was fucking per... He is the best Nathan Drake you could possibly ask for. Well, I mean, it's in the name. Let's be honest. They are both Nathans, yeah. Exactly. That just makes sense. I mean, it's just perfect. That yeah. shit writes itself. But instead of doing an um, adult, perfect Nathan Drake with uh, Fillion, yeah. uh, the upcoming Uncharted film in development... Oh, they're making a film? Okay, mm -hmm. well, to be fair, I think... You know what? I think that would actually work. See, I think it will still, but I still want a full feature Nathan Fillion. Um, and oddly enough, even though Mark Wahlberg is Sully, and uh, who's the new, who's the current Spider-Man? Oh, I don't know. Fucking that kid! I'm, I'm I so, love, I love so that kid. From that world. No, uh, the kid who is currently Spider-Man, mm -hmm. he's great, and he'll be playing a younger uh, Nathan Drake. Okay. I think it'll work. Sweet. I just want to see more Fillion, because he is such an underrated fucking actor, and he's been just shat on. <laughs> just shat on by the industry. Fair enough. He's done well for himself, but he should be doing even better, because goddamn. Because goddamn. Goddamn. You know what's you know an interesting time castle moment? What's Have that? you ever... Uh, you see Donnie Darko, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that movie's fantastic. Fucking Seth Rogen is in that movie. What? Yeah. I didn't Fucking read. When? I'm serious. He's uh, there's like the the bully like that uh, fucking Darko has to deal with in some of the scenes, and fucking oh. Seth Rogen is just like this big dude who's just like standing behind him, fucking <laughs> with his arms crossed. He doesn't speak, but he just stands there as like an intimidating like yeah, I'm a bully presence. And it was such a weird moment seeing what? him there and being like, fucking what? Super bad guy? Oh Jesus! Yeah. It's fucking weird, like, it's weird to, like, remember that most actors kind of just rose in the ranks and yep. climbed the ladder. Like, fucking Jared Leto, like, I don't think he had many other speaking roles in feature films before Panic Room. Yeah. But, like, I just watched it for the shits and giggles of a little while ago, and I was like, that's fucking Jared Leto! Yeah. What the fuck? Dude, uh, <laughs> fucking Fight Club is one of my all-time favorite movies oh, yeah. for all of the yep. best reasons and yep. some of the worst. <laughs> yeah. um, let's be honest. 
Um, and it, like, I watched it, like, 11 times before I realized fucking Jared Leto was in that movie. And fucking Meatloaf. And Meatloaf. Meatloaf. Me- Meatloaf I got, like, the second time around. No, I didn't. It took me fucking ages. This, this is Bob. Bob has bitch tits. <laughs> this girl is not for sale. I, I even saw Meatloaf in the credits, and I didn't connect fucking Meatloaf. Yep. That meat, like, in that context, to the only other person named Meatloaf ever. <laughs> Yeah, like, like I don't know what was wrong with me. I hope in Ooh, some like lot. some some wrong. serious case of I- of irony, he's like vegan and has been for years because like red meat like disrupts his system, so he, he hasn't been able to eat meatloaf for like twenty five years. And he's like, ah, this naming convention didn't work out well. Well, everybody loves a little bit of irony, right? Yeah, if you got a sense of humor, then it's a great name for a, it, va- a I vegan. Mean, a vegan. It really comes down to the question, is that what he would do for love? Is that the thing? No. Is he eat meatloaf? Not that. I'm s- I won't do that. I, I realize it's a redundant statement, but like, for so much of my life, I've been so curious, what is it he won't do for love? I'll do anything for love, so, but I won't do that. What, what, what won't you do? Zachariah. When a man loves a woman very much, mm-hmm. he kisses her butthole. <laughs> it's called a rim job. <laughs> <coughs> I uh, I got to read about it uh, in in great amounts of detail. Oh, yes. Um, Where? When I read the book Naked Lunch by William S. Burroughs. Oh, because wait. I had a very <laughs> large Burroughs phase. Uh, and you read burrowed someone... yourself into an asshole? I Sorry. I super did. <laughs> nice. That was good. That was good. I, f- I support that. <laughs> this rings a bell. I, There's I'm... ass eating in that, right? Uh, kind of? For... Back when Burroughs was writing, he was doing a lot of heroin. Uh, yeah. um, and this was during the age where, like, you know, fucking, you were, you were a piece of shit if you were gay, right? Right. And he is gay. Mm-hmm. Or was gay, he's dead now. Yeah. Uh, and because of how it was viewed societally, societally um, he viewed it as just another addiction. Right. So a lot of his books are very gay. Very, very gay. Uh, you gotta let it out somehow, right? You super do. <laughs> I remember reading The Soft Machine and was just like, this is the gayest thing I've ever read. And it's yeah, not... that. I don't say that as a bad thing. Mm. Not as like, oh, this is gay. But it was like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> it just... It took it to such extremes. And I guess maybe that was the point. But just like, holy shit. Oh, I'm gonna fucking die. What is this? Just kill these people, Zach. Ah, fucking stop. No. I mean... You came to terms with it at, by the end, right? I, I God, I hope rem- so. No, I, I remember but w- before he died, he, you know, kind of came out. Yeah? I mean, he came out in his writing for sure. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I do remember Him some... and uh, Allen Ginsberg were lovers for a while. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Shit, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was it was him, Jack Kerouac, and uh, Alan Ginsberg were the Beat Generation, and even then, right. they all referred to him as Uncle Bill because he was in his like fucking late thirties, early forties um, around that time. Right. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, rat demons. Well. Mm-hmm. Oh, a, oh, a rhino demon. I forgot those were a thing. It is definitely a thing. How do I change it's not on targets? Fire, like, the there rat we go. Demon. That's why I change targets. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> And, huh. Oh, I don't have to deal with fucking stamina in this game. It's awesome. Oh, God. Yeah, I... I was telling you about Escape from Tarkov, right? Yeah, you were. Because, like, aiming also kind of... It, at at oh my the God. very least, it stops your stamina from regaining. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, no. Like, stamina is so goddamn important in that game. And if you're I in a firefight... Or, yes, you... Yes, the. No, it's like the third time I've died. Okay. I, yeah, I edit the footage. I've died before. <laughs> okay. I do. But I did just save, so that's fine. Yeah, fair I enough. I actually saved, like, right there.